hey, you know, you'll be real surprised about how much dust and debris collects in a laptop or a desktop after it runs over a period of, say, six months to a year, never gets maintained, never gets blown out. That computer can overheat, that laptop can overheat, causing damage to your components. That is a major problem. Hello everyone, I'm Tim with Tim'sComputerFix.net. You can find me here in the Savannah, Georgia area. I run a computer repair shop. If you're ever in need of a computer repair, some computer assistance, please look me up. Even if you don't live in the Savannah area, you can ship me your laptop and I will repair it at an affordable cost. In this video, I would like to show everyone some of the tips and tricks and maybe different scenarios that, that maybe you may run across when it comes to uh, dust accumulation, pet accumulation in a laptop or a desktop and what happens over time when somebody doesn't have their uh, you know, laptop or desktop serviced or clean at least clean the dust and stuff out of it. Uh, I've got a few examples I'd like to show you. Um, and even in some fans in some places that you may not have thought of uh, that, that I, and, and I may even you know be able to show you a tip or two to be able to keep keep those fans running longer instead of replacing them so uh, so yeah let's go over to my bench now and I'm going to um, we're going to take a look at some of these examples <laughs> Right, so I have right here just your typical laptop, okay, that, that can come into any repair shop here. And, uh, you know, for one, let's just talk about overheating, all right? And overheating uh, is quite common with a lot of laptops. Uh, so, and heat is the worst enemy of the components inside of the laptop. Now, this is pretty obvious stuff here. I mean, the fan itself is located in underneath this grate okay and this is obviously your exhaust port we all know that pretty much just basic common sense the intake to this particular model comes in through these vents here gets brought in over the processor basically what's going on inside of this laptop is we have you know a heat sink similar to this okay and it probably sits in here something like this right very similar so this part of the, the vent is under here, okay? The heat gets drawn in here and pulled around to the, to the fan that's encased in here. And the, what's, what's, what's in here would look similar to this, so you can take that off. Now, um, what I used to try to do, and I wish I don't anymore, but I used to just take my, uh, my canned air, and, and what a lot of people do, they'll, they'll take their canned air, right? And they'll blast it all down in here. And they're seeing little dust bunnies coming out. You know, sometimes they'll try to blow in here, right? And you, you'll get some dust and all coming out of this vent. And they think they're doing a good job, or they think that they have, and once they stop seeing dust and all, they think they have pretty much cleared that up. And um, that is far from the truth. In some situations, that may work. Uh, I've definitely learned with all the laptops I've done uh, that's definitely not the case and things you need to watch out for. Um, so let's just say for instance this was this is inside the case and you're blowing here right we'll take that off and you're you're blowing here you're 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 blowing down through the case into here okay and you're seeing and you're seeing dust coming out of these vents coming through here but what happens is is if you if you were to if you were able to flip this over this is this will be more than likely what you'll find in, in a lot of cases uh, the dust is and the bunnies are pushed up pushed up into the corners that's not going to blow through especially when you're trying to blow it through this and this um, and then what happens is is uh, and even sometimes in a lot of cases um, some of these bunnies when you're blowing down on it in here these dust bunnies will get caught up caught up into the sh fan shroud itself which even further impedes the fan from spinning um, 
and that could be even worse. You just created a worse problem than what you had originally. So um, some people also, um, you know, you could take it a step further. And some laptops, not this particular one, but if you take the keyboard off, a lot of times you can see, you can see the fan, you know, clearly visible underneath the palm rest here. You, you'll be, be able to see it. And then so your first instinct is, is, ah, I got a better shot at this. And you take your canned air and you blast it, and, uh, and, and which it may help you a little bit better, right? than trying to do it from underneath, but you're still, you're still stuck with this issue here when all, set, when all is said and done. Now, depending upon how dusty it is, I mean, you know, doing it from up here and doing it from the bottom may clear up your problem. I have on many, many occasions I've actually um, tried to do it without removing the fan. Um, I've actually, you know, gotten the fan stuck with, with dust bunnies just trying to spray it. So, something to watch out for. Uh, I would, almost in all cases, recommend at least getting down to the fan shroud, if at all possible. What I like to do also is look through the, I don't know if you can see it here, let me get a light. I also like to... Uh, Try to look through the vent fans so we can kind of see through them. If you can see through them all the way across, see here you can't. You can't see it all the way across. So, and that's if, you know, here's, here's a good example right here. Here's another one, a smaller one, right? So sometimes you get them all in one piece like this, all right? So you're blowing around in here and then you're blowing around in here and then you can take like a flashlight of some sort and then you can look and see that the fan grills are clean in there and that the fan spins freely uh, that would be the best way to do it um, in some cases uh, you know you'd have to actually remove take off this tape and remove the fan similar to this remove it from the heat sink and you can look down in there just to be sure um, but you know it's just a smart practice when you get these laptops and and, and just because you just because you blast them from here you blast them from underneath does not mean that um, everything is cleared up and I have a few more examples of that um, that I'll show up here right now I mean so many times I've I've thought things were clear in the in in the in the in the fan area and the computer was still overheating. So uh, but it's and and you know I've blown the fan from both sides that I can get to without taking it out. Once I removed the actual heat sink in the fan and, and took the the fan out off the heat sink, I exposed uh, some big surprises there. So it uh, kind of fooled me. So pay attention to that. Um, if you're overheating your, your laptop and your laptop's overheating, your fan's spinning fast, that's, that's, one, that's one way to, uh, that's one sure sign that something's going on there. Now, let's move on to fan noises, okay? Fan noises and uh, like, uh, like a whining or or, a, or a, some sort of a, a rattling noise. Um, and we're gonna start off with like some desktop fans here. And one thing that I will say is that uh, you'll get sometimes with these fans, laptops and desktops, you'll get a type of, uh, a type of, uh, I don't know, like a, like a screeching noise or, a, or a, a rattle noise or a sort of like a whining noise or something like that. Um, and it sounds like the fan is about to go out, but this particular one here is a ball bearing. Some of them aren't. They're different ones, but uh, Right, so before you take and decide and determine That you just you need to just the fans no good You need to throw it away because it's making noise 
try this first. Uh, you want to take you a razor blade of some sort and peel back the sticker that's on the fan to expose like the spindle, I'll call it the little spindle here, the center spindle piece, right? Then you want to take, this is just some some regular regular household um, you know, light, very lightweight oil. You can see you can see how it's just moving around in there. It's not real thick. We don't want real thick oil, but this is just household oil that you use for around the house for whatever. And all you want to do is just put you about three drops put about three drops in that in that center spindle there and give the fan a good a good twist and then you can put put your cover back on right there you don't want to do much more than like three drops because then the oil starts to kind of leak oversaturate and it starts to spin out and you'll get oil you know in places you may not want it but but a few drops usually does it and that may quiet your loud fan issue and they keep you from having to replace the fan um, so this size and even on these larger ones same thing this is a 120 millimeter fan you know, before you throw those away because they're making loud noises. And, you know, if you mess up the sticker a little bit, it's not going to hurt anything. I mean, I mean, really, it doesn't matter if you get that sticker back on there right or not. And even if you're having trouble in this case, you can even, you can just cut out that center piece if you want to, like so. And this, this one here, this particular one has a, has a rubber, we'll look at this a little closer. Yeah, this one here. Yeah, this one here. Has a rubber stopper down in there that you can just pry up, and you can even see here that this one still has some oil in it, a little bit. That's where you apply your oil, a few drops, okay, and put the little rubber stopper back in. And you know you don't have to worry about the sticker. I mean, it doesn't matter. Who cares about the sticker, right? And um, like I say, give it a few turns. And that will help to get some longevity out of the fans that are making noises that you think you might have to replace. Okay? Now, honestly, same rule applies to laptop fans. Same rule applies. These little fans can get noisy sometimes. And before you say, oh, you need a new fan... Basically, you can peel back, and this particular one has three small pinholes where you can kind of dab in a little bit of oil, okay, and give her a spin, you know, and then give it, give it a try before you decide to replace these things. You know, adding a little bit of oil may go a long way. You may get a lot more life out of that fan. Now I have heard of some people who use um, syringes to kind of inject the oil, but I'm not a big fan of needles, so um, you know, fans are, are relatively inexpensive also, so I mean really if, if, if that doesn't work, that little bit of oil in those locations, I'll just replace the fan itself. But, uh, okay, how about one place that, that may surprise you, or you haven't thought about, power supplies and desktops, okay? I've had those making noise. I've seen, I've seen technicians just throw the power supply away. Well, it kind of depends on what kind of power supply, fan, 
you know, fan, what kind of fan is in your power supply also. So s some power supplies have, have uh, special fans in them, proprietary fans for that certain model. But some of these just basic, I mean, everybody knows this name, right? I mean, this, this is really an old, just a, an example of power supply here. But, um, but there's a, an 80 millimeter fan there. Um, we could go ahead and probably just take this off. If, th if that starts making noise, you know, same thing. Just remove the fan. Once again, you can just pull this back, add you a couple of drops, few, couple of few drops of oil in the spindle area, and uh, give it a spin. Replace it, put it back. Right. Put your screws back in and power it on. And uh, I've had on numerous occasions kept from having to replace the whole power supply. Um, so that's just another tip. I just want to throw that out there to anybody who, who runs into fan or cooling issues. Right, so as you can see, keeping these uh, fans clean and well lubricated uh, can can extend the life of your entire computer. Real simple steps to take, uh, things to watch out for. So just be really careful with that when you get computers in or even your own computer. If you're ever, if you think just blowing it out is good enough, um, you know, it, you know, you might want to take it an extra step and kind of disassemble things a bit uh, and, uh, and, and investigate a little further. Oh, and here's one thing that I would definitely recommend for everybody. Uh, absolutely that has a, uh, a laptop. Uh, these guys here, uh, desktop, this is a notebook cool, cool pad that you can find anywhere. If you look in the right places, you can find them for good prices, not too expensive. Uh, worth its weight in gold, can keep the life of your, your laptop going, you know, could last much longer uh, than, than you might have thought, especially when it comes to overheating. A laptop cooler you can uh, you can pick these up pretty I got this one off of eBay so um, relatively inexpensive there um, and I would also recommend that uh, if you have a desktop once every three months man take it outside open that side cover get you some compressed air some canned air or maybe a uh, some some sort of maybe like a shop vac and kind of blow that dust out of that desktop there um, you'd be shocked about how much dust collects in a three months time in those things and uh, I can promise you you'll 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 uh, get more of extended life out of your computer out of your desktop I mean really what can you talk about when it comes to fans well you know maybe I told you things that you guys already know or gals or you know maybe somebody else might learn something that they didn't know um, any rate, I enjoy making the video. So, hey, please rate and subscribe to my feed. I would appreciate it. Oh, I got a good idea. Share my video. That really does help me. I would really appreciate it. So until next time, everyone, see you soon.